Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome, in rice fashion, one of the most extraordinary leaders of our time, General Colin Powell. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Mr. President, for the kind and generous introduction. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving me that wonderful rice welcome. I tell you, it is a great honor, distinct honor and pleasure to be with you this morning on this very memorable occasion. But I have to also be very honest and candid with you at this stage of my life, this stage of my career. I'm just glad to be anywhere. <laughs> It ain't easy. <laughs> I think about it late at night. You just heard that bio read, but I think about it late at night that just a few years ago, there I was, every president, every king, every prime minister in the world calling, wanting to come see me, or well, they wanted me to come see them. One day you're sitting there and every reporter, every journalist in the world wants to talk to you, want to know what, they want to know what you think. One day you're sitting there and you're the number one diplomat of the whole free world. One day you're sitting there and you're Secretary of State of the United States of America. The next day you ain't. <laughs> and the way they do it is cruel. It was a dark and snowy night. I had just given a speech down in Washington to the World Affairs Council and I was in my armored limousine heading back to my home in McLean, Virginia, with a chase car behind me and a chase car in front of me, full of my bodyguards. And as we drove through the night, the phone rang in the car, and I picked it up. Powell, Mr. Secretary, this is the Operations Center at the State Department. Just wanted to let you know that the Senate has given its advice and consent to the appointment of Dr. Condoleezza Rice to be the new Secretary of State. The president has appointed her and she has been sworn in. You are no longer the Secretary of State. Well, okay, you know. <laughs> Hung up the phone, pulled up in front of my house and got out of the limousine. The door was wide open. There were communicators inside pulling out all the wires, the red phone, the white phone, the blue phone. I said, hey man, leave one so I can call Domino's, huh? You know, I got it. <laughs> And then suddenly, all of my bodyguards started piling into the cars and driving off. I said, guys, where are you going? <laughs> hey, man, it's over. <laughs> but they're still after me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, baby, that's your problem. I'm gone. <laughs> so that's what it's like to go from there down to there. 